There are many challenges a conflict or post-conflict environment can face. But with innovators, innovation spaces, and hubs in these regions, most of them have managed to combat some of these challenges. Join us on the Ask podcast as we discuss with these individuals on how they are creating positive impacts in their communities. This is the Ask podcast. Ask, ask, ask. podcast. Welcome to the Ask podcast. Of course, as we continue covering up more stories and of course documenting different innovation spaces, innovators telling us how they are solving problems in post-conflict and conflict areas around Africa. Today we are super, super blessed by Pony Wani who is the community manager at Seniors Hub and we are today going to discuss about how innovation spaces in post-conflict environments can be a very big solution to a couple of challenges in the community. Otherwise, we're just wasting time. I would love to introduce our guest today. You're welcome, Pony, to the Ask podcast. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you whispering? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. So now, uh, just before we kick it off, or maybe jump into the real details, what is seniors? Seniors, the name is so fancy. Seniors, seniors. Yeah. yeah. It's a fancy name. <laughs> yes. Seniors, seniors. So, yeah, how did the name come into? Okay, so seniors is from the word genius, mm. but now it's a scene. Mm. So, so like we a define scene. define it as intelligence uh -huh. and, and an institution for the... Okay, so like a scene... A seniors. Where they're genius people. Yes. So it becomes yeah. a Just an seniors. institution for the genius Amazing, amazing. So apart from the name, what exactly is now this institution? Okay, so it's mm. basically a, a youth space mm. that supports entrepreneurship, innovation, mm. creativity, and uh, we support activities mm. among the youth. So that's basically what we engage in. Okay. All right. This is this is amazing. And um, like, what is like the main challenge that maybe has been existing in the community? that you felt with the existence of seniors hub, that challenge can be eradicated? Okay, I think the idea behind uh, how we came up with seniors is because we thought uh, there was no any self space for the youth here in South Sudan mm. that, would, uh, that would bring together different youth from different mm. communities mm. to have to have a uh, all right so for instance <laughs> you okay, wait. so for instance you are looking at we have problems in the community yes, we have problems okay uh. and these problems are to be solved of course by the youth in the community we have youth problems but now you realize there are situations whereby the youth don't have a space for them to sit down and think about the amazing solutions to these problems to these problems and now, <clears throat> you're like, okay, fine. What we're going to do is to come up with a space that is known as senior space that brings us all these genius people, youth, right? Or people, minds. creative minds, to come and find solutions to their problems. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So, for instance, so what happens at seniors? Okay, seniors, mm. uh, seniors has a series of co-working spaces, first mm -hmm. of all, uh, mm. event space. Mm. We also have a studio. This is where we are right now. Yes. And uh, we have an, a restaurant. Mm. So basically, the activities that happen here, uh, we also have a, a training hall mm. that we use for training, workshop, and all that. Mm. We have a very huge community here. I would divide them into three. Mm. The three communities that use seniors. Mm. The first community is the local organizations, even some international organizations that use, <coughs> this, that use the training hall for their workshops and programs. Mm. There are those also that uh, use the outdoor space for their events, official mm. events. Mm. And then the second community is um, we have these people that just walk in here mm. to use the Wi-Fi, just relax, mm. leisure. Be like, man, I just want yes, to relax. Want and I just want to have access to the internet. <laughs> yeah. And then also there are some that come here just to co-work, to do their work. Mm. We, I have some private companies here. Mm. They 
their staff that walk in here and just do their official work here. They have their meetings here, all their meetings. Mm. Then the third group is now have the night community. Mm. Mm. At times on Saturdays, we have uh, events here like after wedding parties, mm. birthdays. I have a number of youth that come to this place mm. to have their events here, their parties here. So these three communities are totally different. And uh, the most interesting thing is the three people at times don't, they will never, they've never ever met. Mm, 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 because mm. during the day, seniors is a different, different, different scene. Mm-hmm. And if you walk here during the weekends, it's a whole different scenario. Yeah, it's a very different scene. At the night as well. It's just a club. <laughs> Most people do not understand what seniors is. Yeah. Actually, some, I find people, hey, why don't you introduce here? Why don't you get us shisha here? Mm-hmm. Now, this is the night club people. Mm-hmm. You'll find. The morning people, the working mm. people, you'll, you'll just find, hey, we need this. We need, can we have, uh, mo- like, can we have, like, boardrooms and all that? Mm-hmm. So, these three communities, we, we are serving them, at, we are serving them differently, mm. but in the same place, mm. same scene. Mm. And I, and I think this is, this is what South Sudan needs right mm. now. For sure. Because I, I know some people there that <coughs> do not know seniors mm. is actually a workstation. Mm. I don't know that. Mm. So the night people. And I know like these w- people that come here to use seniors for their work do not know. There's the other you ca- side. You can have, you can you have, have a some party pleasure here. or a party or yes. anything. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. Are, yeah. are you working on informing both of them of what seniors actually does apart from. Yes, yes. I think yeah. uh, I'm thinking of getting them all together. <laughs> <laughs> A get together. A, a get, get together. together party. Three communities. Yes. <laughs> so so far, I've held about a hundred and seventy events. Uh, events. Yes, we've made oh. a year just. This like okay. October. We opened seniors in uh, last year mm. around November thirtieth. Mm. Mm. So we've made a year this year, mm. and we've held a lot of events. All right. So I want to put a lot of a lot of my, my, my conversation around um, youths that actually come, let me say the morning team that actually comes to use the space, the internet, and they're able to, you know, use uh, some of your, like your projector and some of the, the, the computers or, or something else that, that actually they, they get to, to use. Do you think this space is trying to solve some of the problems that they used to have? Like, for instance, the lack of space that had internet and power and you come over there and do your work peacefully and come up with a solution that could be of a problem that's affecting your community. Do you think there is a success in achieving that? Yes, I think seniors has helped a lot of youth here. Mm. First of all, there are very few places in South Sudan here that has internet. Mm. And we here we provide free internet, free access. Oh, to free, free internet, free, so yes. they do not even have to pay for it. Yes. So you walk Kay. in here, mm. nobody asks you, you just walk in, log in to the internet, and you at your peace. Okay. So I feel like we we what we w- the internet that we, s- we provide to the youth mm. helps them like it is their work. Mm. Some of them are applying for jobs. Some of them are doing their private work. Mm. Some, some of them, them are, are starting their own companies, yeah, their, their own, company own organizations, something like that. Yes. Mm. So it helps them. It push. It helps them to push their work forward. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And you think that is something that the South yeah, Sudanese yeah. youth really need, a space that can actually push their work, a space that they can have to come up or incubate ideas or, you know, yes, come up with something really which can help them with their communities as well. Yes, and with that also, we I find that seniors is more of like a networking space. Okay. Because you meet different minds, mm-hmm, different mm-hmm. ideas. Mm-hmm. You just walk in here and you do not, you find somebody, an engineer there, a doctor mm. there. Mm. So and when you network, you find there's always there's always something you learn from the exactly. next person you meet. So exactly. Seniors is more of a network place, mm. and uh, it helps people generate ideas, come mm. up with new ideas. Mm. When the three minds, four minds, at seniors meet, mm. we are able to come up with very great ideas. Yeah, I've seen also you've done a couple of. Uh, of other events that are really so pro youth, like I've seen some youth coming to showcase their books, some youth coming to showcase the films or some stuff that I've really done for from there, and they use this space to like showcase their work. And yeah. how, for someone who really wants to know, how do you request for space? How do you 
be like, okay, I want to use the space this time because I know, of course, there are a couple of events, but how does someone request for space if they want to do one of their programs? Okay, so mm. uh, this is, we have a system mm. here. Mm. So there's, uh, there's a link, there's a form online. Mm. You just log into it. And fill, fill, mm. your in, fill your details there mm-hmm. and uh, the team, my team at seniors here will be able to, to, to mm. you the, the initiation form. Okay. So initiate the event and mm. then we'll get back to you. Okay. And, that form. And, and nice. And what about, can you just describe for us, like this amazing seniors yeah, hub, okay. how does it look like? Wow. Yeah. Someone who, who has never been here or maybe even within Juba or somewhere wants to know, but how does this place look like? What would you okay, so describe? Okay, so seniors mm. is just an open space for the youth. Mm-hmm. We have an outdoor space mm-hmm. with some furniture. Mm-hmm. And then we have now the conference hall, that's the training room. Mm. Then it's fully equipped with, uh, we have a projector, we have a video conferencing equipment. So it's fully it's suitable. So the con- conference event. room can take like how many people? It takes 50. 50. Yes. Good. And then we also have the studio where we are right now. Mm. We use the studio basically. Like I have a number of uh, media personals, mm. content creators that walk in here and use the space. Just like how I'm using it now. <laughs> to produce their content. Yeah. So uh, most of the time this studio here is, is used by the content creators. Mm. Then the outdoor space will find... Uh, the people that just come for leisure, mm. if we do not have events. Mm. Then the conference hall is now my other communities, mm. the youth initiatives that use them for trainings, workshops, and mm. any other official business. Mm. Yes. All right. So since this actually gets a little bit tricky at some point, but I know you'll clarify this. Seniors Hub, you offer free internet. There is power. There is this space here that you used money to buy chairs and all that stuff. How do you sustain it? So, uh, how we sustain seniors is uh, mm-hmm. we hire this, like the studio, the sessions here. Mm-hmm. When you want to use it, we hire it. We have a, spec- we have a there's a procedure, you, ap- uh, you apply for it. Mm-hmm. So, we send you a quotation per mm-hmm. session. Mm-hmm. Also, the hall, we hire it out mm-hmm. at only 150 okay. USD. Yes. yes. That's, that, that's very less compared to other hotels. That's mm-hmm. what, so, we, we're trying to mm-hmm. make our prices low. Really low, yeah. Yes, so, that the youth may afford. For sure. And at times we give the space for s- free for so many. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can walk in here and have totally zero. Yeah. To start up their initiatives. Mm. And that's how we make money. We also, but uh, where we make money from so much is the restaurant out there. We have a local restaurant here that provides food. Mm. We cook local food. So mm. we sell the food and we also sell drinks, water, cheese, soda. That's mm. where we make our money. Okay, and this money is used to sustain, yes, to sustain uh, the, space. The, the space as well. Um, to pay the workers. And yeah, uh, and keep run everything yeah. running. Yeah, so what are the challenges you've been facing as you provide this space to youths in, to use it to come up with the ideas? Uh, some of the challenges are the finances. Mm-hmm. Because this space is really big, it's huge, mm. and then the operating cost is very high. Mm. So what we generate here, basically, we use it to pay the staffs and all that. Mm. So at times, let's say, the power, water, and all that, we seek somewhere else. Like if I had the main... Mm. The, the mother main, the, the, the organization. The mother, the mother yeah. organization that is behind Seniors Hub mm. have to come in. Okay. That's what challenges us mostly. Yeah, in, th- in terms of the support and, and finances and all that. But it's completely running independent right now. Ah. Yeah, Seniors is independent. Okay, so what do you mean by it being independent? Like I mean, like, <laughs> we pay our staff. Uh. Like, uh, for instance, if you need anything, anything additional, additional mm. uh, equipment, anything, we use, we use the, f- we use the money from what you well, from you what you've already generated to see that you support the, the, the yes. continuation of the program. Okay. As you can see, mm. on the other side, we tr- we're we trying to make uh, an exclusive cafe. Yes. Yes. So that cafe actually mm. 
is financed by senior public service. Ah, yes. amazing. So, um, what is the main, main, main goal of seniors? Like, what do you guys see yourselves achieving in some few years to come, 10, 15, 20? Uh, our main goal is to have as many seniors as possible. Mm. Around South Sudan. Around South, South Sudan, yeah. Like we need to have different branches and all that. Mm. Because I understand, like, here, right, now I have so many youth that come across from across the bridge, mm-hmm. Gumbo, mm. that come here just to use the space, to use free internet. Just for someone who doesn't know how far you Gumbo is, that's, like, around uh, around 15 or 20 kilometers? Yes. Yeah. So some come from Gudele, very far, di- far distances, distances just yes. to use the space. Mm. Because we offer free internet, they feel, I feel... It's just a very good opportunity for them. They can't. There's some youth that do not have work. Mm. They barely have anything to ha- like. They cannot go to any uh, restaurant. I, and I mean, you see how expensive internet here is in Dubai. Uh, yeah, internet is so expensive. Yes. So three point five, three point five gigabytes of internet is twenty dollars. That's so most very of them would expensive. prefer coming from very far locations just to come to use internet within seniors. So our main goal is to have different branches of seniors in over South Sudan. Mm. And uh, the other our, our our other goal is we also hope to have to open a library here with yes. seniors here. Okay. As you can see we have books I think there yes. out there. Yes. We have a number of books. Yeah. So we uh, it's uh, our library is based on donation right now. Yeah. You get us books. I have a number of people that donate uh, for me books here. Mm. I'm about I have about 50 books right now. Yeah. Books, articles, Magazines, yeah, anything. whatever, something, whatever can be read. So you can also be part of the donation. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a book. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think this goes to our listener and viewer right now. You are out there and you'd love to support the works of um, Seniors Hub. And right now, we, I think that the, the, you can support by giving a book. Yes. You can support by just being there. Hey, I have this number of and then books. I have very, very beautiful art pieces here. We mm. have something called the Taban Corner, Tabando Leon ta- Corner, Professor yes, Taban. Yes, yes. At our home. Mm. So he has this ancient uh, culture, how can I even call them? Like artifacts? Like yeah. uh, like crafts or something? Yeah, they are like crafts, yes. Mm. So mm. some of them, he collected them way back in 1967. Ah, okay. So the idea he has in mind is because we, uh, he we don't have a museum here in South Sudan. Yes. So he brings most of his ancient things here, mm. the mm. old art he has. Mm. So we opened a corner in our hall. It's called the Taban Corner. Mm. So that's where we keep all these. You can walk, come by, and just have a look at them. Mm. Some of the things you've never seen them. Mm. Trust me. For sure. So you need to walk by seniors and come and have a view of this. Yeah. If someone who's out there and feels like you would love to support seniors, apart from the side of books, which kind of support do you think you may need? Okay. Uh, we, we don't have a lot of things. Like, seniors is not yet fully equipped with uh, what we need. Mm. For instance, we, we usually hire a sound system. We don't mm-hmm. have a sound system currently. Mm. We usually hire a system, and that's like a $100. Part time you hire. Time you hire. Mm. So we usually have events here. Mm. And then what else don't we have? Um, you can volunteer to work at seniors just Amazing. to give back to the community. Yeah. You, you can walk by here, volunteer to work at seniors. Yeah. Work yeah. With us. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So you said, apart from just uh, youth uh, having like, okay, apart from having like over 170 something events, how many youths do you think come to your space per day? A day I have about uh, 20 to 30 youth. To 30 youth. Yes, they keep coming. The space here, yeah. Mm. Outdoor, the that outdoor space. That's Just amazing. For the leisure. That's amazing. And actually, no, not even leisure. I think they use the yeah, space yeah, co- to do like, yeah, coca working, doing a lot of things and coming up with a, a couple of ideas, actually. Yeah, that's amazing. And what I can say is, is there something else really you think you would love to talk that I've not asked you uh, about seniors? Oh, I know. <laughs> you know, what's that? <laughs> How can someone reach you at Seniors? Well, we are located at Haimalaka. Yes. Um, along the Nimula Road. That is, when you say the Nimula Road, mm. it's on Google Nimula Road, but it's uh, the cemetery Road. Yeah. 
I will come to Minty World, yeah. then uh, next to Hudson Apartment. Yeah. That's where we are. Okay. Or you can come through just uh, next, uh, you can come to James Hotel, mm. just walk straight over to James Hotel, mm. till the last gate. Okay. On your right. Mm. That's where we are located. Amazing. Now, what about? An easy one is mm-hmm. just we are within the Firehead offices. Okay. What about online? How can someone reach you? Online, we have a Facebook page, Instagram page, mm. Twitter, mm. all with the name Seniors Hub. And your email? My email, Senior. The, the email, does uh, can, yeah? You can reach at, you can reach to me at Pony One Year at Seniors. Okay. Or Pony One Year at the Firehead, one of the two. All right. Dot org. Dot org, yes. All right. Amazing. Thank you so much for coming to the show, Pony. And we are super excited on how you are using innovation spaces to actually help youth to become, you know, solu- uh, creators of the solutions of their own problems that are existing in the community and also the amazing work that you're doing out there in helping people and helping communities as well. So otherwise, now straight to our listeners who have been with us from the beginning of the show up to right now. I would love to thank you so much and continue tuning in here to see that we can continue you know, being together as we document all these innovation spaces and innovations that are within Africa and within post-conflict areas and are doing amazing in solving community challenges. <laughs> yes, you have something you want to say? I think the best thing we would have done was to do the interview while we were moving around seniors. <laughs> I know that that could really be amazing. That could really be amazing for us to have done. But I, if you want to describe for us how seniors looks like, and that's what I ask you, it's like, can you describe for us seniors have? <laughs> Let us know. This is so else. beautiful. You need to just walk in here. We have art all over the Yeah, compound. art all over, on the wall on and the everything. Yeah. <laughs> we have we have dif- like we have different uh, we t- we're trying to do recycling here as you can oh, see recycling. we have di- dust bins yeah, yeah, out yeah. of plastic bottles yeah and then our furniture is out there are d- made out of um what are they called Drums. Drums. <laughs> drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They went out of drums yeah. and then we also have tires, cutters, mm. used cutters. We use them as tables out Very there. Very innovative. Yes. Yeah. Now this is amazing. And thanks so much. These are actually great things and I would love to see more youths taking advantage of such kind of spaces and creating, you know, amazing things for themselves and their communities as well. So if you know you're out there and you're also an innovation space, an innovator, or an individual doing positive stuff for your community and you feel like you'd love to be documented on the Ask Podcast, you can just simply send us an email at askpodcast9 at gmail.com or just reach us on our all different social media platforms, Ask Podcast, and we shall be able to come and document you. Otherwise, from me to you, I would love to say have a great time. And have an amazing moment. Peace. Welcome to the Ask Podcast. A podcast where we document the stories of innovators, innovation spaces, and hubs. Creating positive impact and solving local community challenges in conflict and post-conflict areas of Africa.